<laughs> hi, Mike! Oh, hi, Rich! Come on up! Hi, Mike! What's going on? Why, Rich, if you'll notice, I have a bunch of VHS tapes with nothing on their spines. What? But, but that's not true. There's, 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 there's numbers on there. Oh, right. There are numbers on the black spines, which correspond to the ping pong balls. I'm very confused right now. Let me explain. Okay. The numbers on the balls correspond to the numbers on the tapes. I spin the raffle drum like so. And then I just grab a tape? You grab a ball which has a number that corresponds to the tape. Why don't I just grab a tape? Because you grab a ball which corresponds to a number on the tape. And so that way I extra don't know what's on the tape? Correct. <laughs> it's Black Spine Bingo! But don't I need a bingo card? It's a Black Spine Raffle! You're up, Rich! Oh, okay, okay! And away we go! Select a ball. Close your eyes, though. Uh, I'm, I'm closing my eyes. I wouldn't want you to cheat, even though you don't know what any of the tapes are or what numbers correspond to what. I wouldn't want you to cheat. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes. Uh, training Gun Dogs with Deller Smith. Ball! Oh. A number two. Why number two? That's the best one of them all. <laughs> the self levitation video. <laughs> Why that's one way to lose weight. What are you, the Crypt Keeper? I don't know, my voice has changed. I can't explain why. Let's go watch the self-levitation video. Come on. How the fuck? Hello, I'm Mike Maxwell, and welcome to the self-levitation video. For centuries, magicians have sought to create the perfect illusion of self-levitation, and many elegant and deceptive methods have been created, culminating with David Copperfield's incredible... The only illusion here is his hair. <laughs> Before I get into the real work behind David Roth's presentation of the Balducci levitation... How much can you talk about? One, one <laughs> you stand on one foot! Simple, simple we things! Got it. had an interesting method. What he would do is turn around and grab his pant legs, he would perform the illusion, pulling up on the pant legs, making it seem as though he pulled himself up by the pants. Another way you can do it is as an impossible stunt. Why, hello, Nin. Could have sworn his name was Tim. Hi, Mike. Hello. You know why you're here today, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Black spines! Black spine raffle! Ooh, I've never won raffles. Well, today, everyone's a loser. Can I spin it this time? No. Well, sure, why not? Why yeah. The not? Here you go, I'll hold it down. Wow, you've achieved centrifugal force. No one's ever done that. 
All right. You choose the fate of our second tape. 18. Lucky 18. What do we have? It's gonna buy cigarettes. <gasps> it's a blank, a true blank. A mystery awaits. Let's go. Hello there, and thank you for your purchase of Therapy Plus. We've prepared this instructional tape so that you will maximize the effectiveness of your therapy. What are plus. you doing? Do you now? have a problem with pain? Yeah, is it some sort of anal probe? What are we looking at? It adjusts so that you can work it wherever you feel oh, the need. Oh no, you fucker! <laughs> And that's why we have prepared for you this tape with Dr. James McElhaney. Jay, Jay, don't you know about this product that's still in use today? It, it wasn't some scam from the 90s that cured you of your pain. I got one in my car. The design of the single roller makes it extremely effective for self-treatment. It has the capability to be... He strained when he was talking, yeah. just bending. Yeah. That's not a good sign. It has to have a rigid joint. You'll find out the real reason why they made this video in about 10 seconds. Okay. Oh no, there's going to be like a young woman that he tested on, isn't there? We will deal with specific areas. Oh no. Remember, Therapy Plus is usually applied by yourself. However, for the purpose of this instructional tape, I will demonstrate the correct use. Here we go. <laughs> demonstrate. They can't even give her a shirt. They're not even trying to hide it. <laughs> <gasps> Why, hello, Jay. <laughs> Hold this. What? Twelve. You want your coffee? Guess he doesn't want his coffee. <laughs> did, did, did you want your coffee? The ABC of safety, part one. <laughs> safety for kids, safety for kids, we make learning safety fun. Safety for kids, safety for kids. What if there are more than four kids? Save me five kids. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Roger. Thanks for spending some time with us today. Pleasure to meet you, Marissa. So, how long have you been a school bus driver? I have been a school bus driver for about 33 years, and it's been a pleasure working with the children for those years. I to retire today, but they made me do this stupid <laughs> fucking video. I mean, this guy is definitely a real school bus driver. Because children forget to use the handrail, which is dangerous. They horseplay, push. Man, all I just picture this guy, shut the fuck up! <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> you kids don't sit your fucking fat asses down, I swear to God! I just went off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my life. I'm gonna drop you off at 42nd and Broadway. <laughs> Let the pimps have at ya. <laughs> you know this guy's a huge fucking asshole. <laughs> so basically he was fired for being such an asshole and this is a bit of his public service. Oh, it's yeah. like, you have to do this. Yeah. Love... You, no pension, no school bus pension for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I shall do the fourth tape then. Armed robbery, is it worth your life? Yay! 
Hey! Hey, everybody! We're going to watch Armed Robbery! Oh, this whole thing was a f***ing disaster. It was a deal with this. Yeah, it's 392, but I'm gonna just take it. What is this, man? You, you sticking me up? You got it. Just open the till. Nobody gets hurt. No way, man. I work for this money 10, 12 hours a day. You got no right coming Shut in. Shut up! Shut up and open the door. I said no, man. This is my money. Stop it! Hmm? Stop being crazy! Man, no, no. I said no. You get nothing. I'll use this! Not I'll a second! I'll use this! I'll use this! Jim! Jim, run, call cops! Oh, no! Do it! Not Jim! Oh! Oh, oh no. Nacho no. chips! Hey, 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 where did he hit him? I, I guess he did it, but... <laughs> oh. Oh. If you need help, the Washington State Department of Labor and Industry stands ready to assist you. Your local police department is also available with additional information and advice. If you need help from any of us, don't hesitate to ask. Making your job easier and safer is the reason we're here. Excuse me, I'm gonna get one of those sandwiches. <laughs> I've been thinking about these sandwiches all week. <laughs> <laughs>Which is, I literally don't remember oh my God. what our first what video is our first was. Video? Levitation. Oh. Oh. Levitation! Ugh. A class in levitation. Well, you were right then. It's yeah. not great. <laughs> Murphy's Magic Supplies, the self-levitation video. This video is bullshit. It is. It feels like a two-minute video, but it turns out to be a 20-minute video. But it should have been a two minute video. It should have been it a one be. minute video. It didn't need to be a video. Tim, I thought you were gonna say this video feels so light. It's levitating. That it could levitate. Come on, everybody, where are you? This doesn't deserve that good a joke. Do I gotta spoon feed you all the jokes? <laughs> this is terrible though. I mean, they show you, the video is like teaching you how to do the the first time I ever saw it, it was on a David Blaine Street Magic special. Don't move, why? You said, oh, he's standing on like, his other foot. Holy crap. Yeah. For a second, I was like, holy shit, that's real. How does it do that? Because it, it seemed like he went that high. I mean, did he go that high? So they, I don't he know. used the psychological trick on you. No, he said, he Am I up. this high off the ground? He gets so into it that he does it, and then when he comes back down, it's so much that he vomits. Is that what? true? It is true. Wow. He's just like, and he turns if away. If this video was just two minutes of levitating and then 15 minutes of vomiting, I, I may have a gold. different reaction to it. <laughs> yeah. that, goes with, that goes with the instructions. The guy's like, you, you know, tell your audience you got to wait two hours to work up the power to do it. And then afterwards, you know, make a big deal about it. And... Perhaps the most crucial aspect of the Balducci levitation and presenting it is the psychological preparation of the audience prior to the actual levitation itself. David waits. Drug them. <laughs> Slowly Give them hallucinogens. Them. He tells them that he doesn't know if he can do it. He might not have enough energy. Sometimes he has a lot of energy and he points to a chair and he says, sometimes I can go as high as this chair. And he really builds the illusion up in their minds. It's well, such a simple and kind of lame levitation that you really need to go out of your way to sell it to the audience. Yeah, yeah. 
The whole point of this video is if you want to look like you're levitating, put someone in one very specific position. I guess it can only be one person watching you because anyone else in a different position will not get the same effect. And then stand on one foot. But make them wait for it. Yeah. Well, that's, that's how they stretch the video out is with all these little details. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's stand on one foot. They wore the most luxurious of socks. Well, that one dude did. Yeah. He had some pretty comfy looking socks. He had yeah. some nice yeah. socks. He knew he was going to have his shoes off on camera. He wore the nice socks. <laughs> the bigger, fluffier socks, though, more distraction. Mm -hmm. And then same with your pants. You want those big, pleated, flowing uh, 1980s pants. Yep. He makes a point of saying, make sure you're wearing pants. And then he shows examples of people not wearing pants. Right. You're supposed to have baggy pants on. Kids, the elderly. And he's wearing shorts. Bring out the Balducci. Ooh, fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's probably shot <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Environmentally. What? <laughs> oh my God. They I didn't, didn't even show it. Well, it's a good thing it's environmentally safe. <laughs> what about David Roth? He has his, his, his stupid son who's in basketball shorts. Some little ugly girl. <laughs> it's probably his stupid daughter. Stupid, stupid daughter. daughter. It's a stupid family. And their stupid fireplace. Yeah. The thing is, it would have been really easy just to throw some other generic magic tricks in there too. Yeah, that's the surprising I, part. It is, it is one trick stretched out to 20 to 30 minutes. And every time it would fade out we're like, it's over. And then it would fade back in to the exact same location with this dumbass still talking to the camera. Cause this dumbass made 20 different videos about 20 different magic tricks. Oh, you think? And he sold them all and in, they were all in, in shop, magic shop. And they were all, this, that's Murphy, whatever. Hello, I'm Mike Maxwell and welcome to the self levitation video. I'm really interested in this kind of magic trick. Well, well, what do you know? $30. I have, a, I have a video about it if you really want to learn. And it has the history of it behind it. And like the so person who created it. How long is this video about the thumb trick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like when you're pulling off the thumb and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like, it's got a video on it. Yeah. yeah. And there was a split second. I swear to God, he thought, I thought he was going to be like, and how to deal with people when they think or can see yeah. that you're faking it. Hecklers, he didn't yeah. talk about that. Oh, yeah. He didn't because it's That's what he says, probably like, you just beat the shit out of him. You beat the fuck out of him <laughs> into submission. Like yeah. said, and then you float away. And then... Well, that's what we said would have been amazing if at the end of the video, there's all this bullshit and then he genuinely starts levitating. Right, yeah. right, yes. The rest of the video is just to, to, to uh, ward off the skeptics because they're not going to keep watching. Right, right. Yeah. Here's the real power. You have to say these magic words. He, he looks around and he says, now order. that nobody's watching, <laughs> between you and me. Here's how you make the pact with the ancient demons. <laughs> <laughs> just three drops of human blood. Bakaduchi is actually a, a, an ancient uh, demon. Yeah, there you go. And you can float above your city and, and shoot lightning out of your eyes. You must make a pact with Eloise Cole. Eloise Cole, the grief clown. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a four minute long vi video sold in a magic shop. And now it's in our possession. No questions that I had were ever answered of what happens when you're the crowd who comes to see you do levitation forms a 360 degree circle around you. It's stand, stand, yeah, but maybe clo close over here, together, yeah. It's like that. Yeah, just stay kind of close, ready? Here we go. I believe that you levitated an inch off the ground. I don't believe that you used your other foot to lift yourself up while wearing 90s slacks. <laughs> just, I love pleats. <laughs> <laughs> that guy loved his pleats and his hair plugs. <laughs> Pleats and plugs. <laughs> that's, that's it. That should fuck the magic supply. Pleats and plugs. He should be, he should be a style consultant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wear this embarrassing shirt and uh, belt tucked in with your belt and your pleated pants in front of your 90s fireplace. <laughs> all your ornate oriental uh, garnishes on top of your fireplace. And, and your it, stupid fucking children. And your dumb basketball son comes in ashamed of you. <laughs> While your hair plugs are falling out <laughs> while you're making a five minute long video for your magic shop. That's the American this. dream. 
this, whatever this guy's name is, he's such a good magician, he made his marriage disappear. But he kept the kids. I guess he kept the kids. <laughs> yeah. Or that was his weekend. It's like, we got to shoot around my kids weekend. Mm -hmm. Well, we've, we've, we've made fun of this man. I don't even know what his name is. Hello, I'm Mike Maxwell, and welcome to the self-levitation video. I'm sure he has a name. Bonaducci. Yeah. No, it was not the Fibiduch. Properly presented, the Balducci levitation will achieve a near perfect illusion of self levitation. Uh, how to do some kind of thing? You stand on a uh, fucking levitate. Shit's a shit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, here we are. Uh, well, we shouldn't make fun of this guy. Here we are. Look at us talking about six hey. videotapes we found in a dumpster. But at least we're not pretending to be something we're not. We're not trying to levitate. That's true. I bet you I could do the levitation trick. The only one who did the levitation trick was Milton Berle. He floated all the way up to heaven. <laughs> okay, in 2002. Before getting canceled. Before getting canceled. Well, now he's getting canceled so, after this episode. We're, yeah. we're totally just waiting for it. Yeah, Milton Milton Berle. Spoilers. Just wait. You're getting canceled. Uh, so then we watched another tape. Well, first of all, I don't know. Hey, fuck off. That's my job. Oh my God. First of all, we, we picked four tapes with the ping pong balls. Yep. And then a couple of them were short and uh, we, we said, let's watch a couple more. So we watched two more and they're down on the end there. Mm -hmm. uh, just to explain the six tapes as opposed to the four, because nobody was there in the screening room with us except us four. Oh, tape two is blank. Ah, oh, the blanky. Who picked this one? What? Therapy oh, Plus. Therapy, oh. This is Therapy Plus. Rich, therapy Plus. Oh my Rich God! Picking you. Tell us all about Therapy Plus. Well, I didn't pick it, but I, there's not much to tell I about Therapy for... Plus. <laughs> I was the one that picked it. It was my ball. Okay, Tim, tell us about Therapy Plus. Okay, I'm mean, gonna end up explaining all these shits. Therapy Plus is. Can you imagine if there's something that looks so phallic but not sexual to reduce all of pain? Well, not sudden out of nowhere pain. Well, therapy plus. Very specific type of pain. Yes, yes. If you have severe out of nowhere pain, therapy plus will not prickly roll it away. This is intriguing. Tell me more. Well, this can show you. The design of the single roller makes it extremely effective for self-treatment. It has the capability to be adjusted to reach just about any area of the body. This is a relatively short video, but it gets to the point very quick, and the point is, Old ass Ronald Reagan wants to rub all over this girl in a tube top. And I don't know if there was a teleprompter, but you could not tell. So either the dude was spot on with his memor memorization of the script, mm. or he was like able to scan a page just. Or what if there was no script and he was just making away. this shit up? They just handed him this thing and he had to come up on the top of his head, come up with some sort of use for it. It's like, it. a, sculpt, it's like a sculpting tool for like clay sculpting. Yeah, or something like yeah. Says nothing. <laughs> like try and sell it as some sort of health thing. We got a girl in a tube top. He's like, oh, I can do something with this. When you promise there. there's a woman with a tube top, right? <laughs> I can do anything. Look, it cures all pain. I don't, I don't know what your problem unless is. Unless you have this. existing pain, then don't use it on um, that existing unless pain. Unless you have existing pain or heart pain. Open sores. Or, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a, Genital it's a, pain. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's a thing. It's what they call a scam. Well, it's got a handle, right? And there's a, there's a rolly thing on the, on the tip of it, and it, it, it adjusts to reach different whatevers. Which must be very difficult to do because he really Dude. strained his voice when he yeah. turned it. It's, like, got, hey. it's got some rigidity to it because you don't want to- Yeah, it, but, but you don't want to press it too hard because it's like a little like meat tenderizer on, yeah. on a rolly thing. And you know, you don't want to press too hard because you're going to puncture your skin or injure yourself, bruise yourself, whatever. Yeah. You the With a sophisticated device. This is a very sophisticated device and you just roll it gently on your skin. Anything that could be a serious medical condition because this is a scam. And what they are doing, it's called covering your ass. And when they sell their magical cure-all pain removing device, if somebody's having like serious, if they're just like having a heart attack yeah. and they think they're just gonna do this and they have a heart attack and they end up in the hospital and then Therapy Plus is gonna get sued mm -hmm. for a lot of money. Weren't they sued? Oh, you did some research. I, oh, Rich did research. Oh, I, did a, yeah. I did a very little bit of research. R you did research because I said, I want to find one of these devices. Yeah. E either, yeah. They're not sold, 
or else people would still be using them today. You'd be like, ah, oh, my grandma's been using Therapy Plus on her, on her arthritis. And they're, they're still sold, but they're under a different name and they're used as sex toys. Oh boy. Yeah. Remember, the main point is to roll lightly and quickly to get best results from Therapy Plus. My grandma had a Therapy Plus, but then she sanded down all the rough edges just well rough enough. <laughs> And now it's been in her bed nightstand <laughs> Grandma, what's for the past this? 80 years. Oh. Don't touch that! Why There's... does it smell like the, the fish hatchery? <laughs> Rubella is on that. Just so many. It's like all the lost diseases. <laughs> it's all sticky. I, okay, Rick. I learned two things. What do you got from I... your elderly man wallet phone? Damn. <laughs> you got your grocery store card in there too? <laughs> You got your library card in there? What the fuck is wrong with me being efficient? <laughs> oh boy, that, did that come out of your fanny pack? <laughs> oh, he lost it. Oh, there we go. Tell us, Grandma, what did you learn? California infomercial marketer settles FTC charges of false and unsubstantiated claims for purported pain relieving device. Woo! That's what I got when searching for Therapy Plus what's the Freedom what, from Pain. What's the date from that? It's got like, two different, uh, I don't know if it's some kind of reposting of this. August 27, 2006, but it's got another date down here. 1993. FTC oh. news release, May 25th, 1993. Now, is it a separate article for the sexual assault charges? <laughs> <laughs> he kept calling my ribs tender, but I knew what he meant. Well, it's funny you say that, because the other thing I learned when I googled Therapy Plus, a whole bunch of products came up for sale, and they all look like sex toys. <laughs> <laughs> Therapy Plus Stinger. Has, has Therapy Plus become code speak in the, the sex it's industry? A massager. <laughs> It probably has the most minuscule um, scientific backing, right? Like you have a sore muscle, you just rub it a little. Yeah. It makes blood flow happen. Maybe that rolly device kind of makes blood flow happen. Boom, cure all the pain. Market it, sell it, make a thousand of them, sell them for $29.95, scam. Mm -hmm. But not really, but I don't know, apparently according to this lawsuit, it, it... It's making a big comeback as a COVID vaccine alternative. <laughs> <laughs> When you get the COVID, you just kind yeah, of rub it on your lungs. Kind of rub it on your lungs. Yeah. You may have purchased this device for one particular pain. Should another pain occur elsewhere in the body at a later date, remember to use your roller. Review this tape often to assure correct use of Therapy Plus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this the entirety of the Wait, video? Wait, I forgot. I think I got it, doctor. Damn it. How do I use this? Find me the tape. <laughs> the end. <laughs> That's intense. Yeah. Holy shit. This is how you do it, period. Uh, oh, next is ABC's, the ABC of safety. ABC's a safety, ABC's a safety. Always stay safe, always stay safe. Can we just skip this one? Now, excuse me, I think I'm gonna take my lunch break. I mean, theoretically we could. Ride the bus. The only funny thing to talk about with this video is that they're well, all go ahead very- and talk about it. We went through the fucking shit. Let's yeah, just Jay. spend some time. We ain't skipping it, go. The, uh, okay, it's a low rent Sesame Street with a bunch of vulgar New Yorkers. Yeah, from Montauk. Hey, I'm a fucking bus driver, uh, be safe. No, yeah. no, the bus driver kept his cool because yeah. he knew it was like- <laughs> Because he knew he'd get fired public otherwise. public service. And it's just and like- I was driving the bus drunk, now I gotta be in this video with this puppet. What the fuck? Always hold the handrail getting on and off the bus. Do not jump on or off the bus and remain seated at all times. Stay in your fucking chair. Mr. Rogers sure gave us some terrific safety tips. Now it's time to hear a great new bus safety song. No. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get up and get dressed now. It's a long way to get to a fucking bus song. <laughs> It's a wonderful video <laughs> teaching children. What does it teach them? It teaches them to multiple, stop. the ba very basics of safety. Uh, one being street crossings. That's the big topic covered. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, look both ways, don't run out into traffic, et cetera, et cetera. They film a bunch of kids in a suburban area and then they cut the footage of Times Square. Uh, just uh, intercut between the they, two. They, they couldn't drag a bunch of eight-year-olds out to Times Square to film the video. Half of them would get hit by cars. I okay. just don't understand why you show Times Square at all. Why did the horse cross the road? Why? Because the chicken took the day off. The day off. All these New Yorkers, the New York the children. The proof that he wasn't a chicken. Now we're going to more talk. Seymour and his whole family came to a town called Montauk. That's how he wound up in Montauk. Uh, look, and then and then they switched to the bus safety. Mm -hmm. Bus safety. Bus driver says, "Listen, they're, they're, they, they even show a sign that says there's 50 rules when you're on the bus. Don't stand <laughs> up. Don't shout." Don't hit the bus driver in the back of the head. Don't look me in the fucking eyes. Don't jump eyes. off the bus. Follow the steps. Hold, Hold on to the, the handrail. Rail. No yelling, no screaming. Don't push and shove. Stay seated. Don't stand up. Don't block the aisle. There's everything. And then the girl goes and interviews a Mets player. Mike uh, Piazza. Mike Piazza. And she's like, what? Uh, why do you like baseball? And he's like, I, I don't know. Uh, teamwork, whatever. The fucking money, <laughs> stupid. And then, and then she's like, "What's what? what do you, why do you be safe in baseball?" He's like, "Well, I wear a bunch of pads that protect me from this rock that's flying at me at 100 miles an hour." Stupid. And then she says, "Bye." Now, Mike, I've just got to ask: Were you wearing all of your safety gear? Well, oh, absolutely. I, I think your safety gear is your most important possession if you're going to go out and do physical activity, whether that be baseball or bicycling or anything. I mean, you have to have protection, especially in the very important parts of your body, like your hands and um, your, your, uh, your... You gotta, you gotta protect your nuts. You gotta protect your nuts! <laughs> Besides wearing your safety gear, do you do anything else to stay safe? Well, yeah, I mean, before you start, you do have to warm up. Always wearing condoms. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> who's this video for? What? <laughs> Wait, hold this bat first. Oh, like yeah. this? No, oh, you idiot. You fucking moron. <laughs> what are you, from New Jersey? <laughs> fucking idiot. This girl probably ain't even near Montauk. <laughs> <laughs> the seal's from Montauk. This girl's from the Bronx. You gotta change everything. Literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything you're doing is wrong. <laughs> Uh, they, so they're all yelling in New York accents. All the little boys look angry, mm -hmm. like they're from they're from Brooklyn or Boston. <laughs> they're from they're from Boston, and they got to cross the river over to New York City. And is there Just a river? For a stupid shoot. Is there a river that you cross to get from Boston to New York City? I don't think so. I don't so. know anything about that. It's like a bay, right? Massachusetts Bay? I don't know this how close that is to New York. I don't know, but these little ruffians are getting, they're, they're Mark Wahlberg's little brothers. <laughs> they're, they're getting busted in by His this old man. children. It's they, like, yeah, they're getting busted in and they have to be in this video and they're like, I'd rather be in a gang. <laughs> And, uh, I'd rather be drinking. I'd rather be drinking at the bar <laughs> with my dad. They're, uh, they're like eight and they're angry. And then the girl's mad and the bus driver is really mad. He's seething with anger. You know, he's yelling at his wife later. He's yelling at the kids on the bus. I had to be in this fucking video. And then, so they talk about bus safety, crossing the street safety, sports injuries, and lastly, stranger danger, which Rich, you know all about. Tell us all about the perverts in the park. I literally don't remember about the perverts in the park. I always have fun when I come to the park. It's one of my favorite places to play. There are many different people who come to the park, like mothers, fathers, little kids and big kids. And strangers, too. Looking for a fix. A stranger is a person you don't know. My parents taught me never Why to Why is this in a smaller thing. window? Ah. Yeah, Remember the old man who was pushing the kid on the swing and then I'm there's trying the, to remember like, the guy that looks like Borat. The only thing I remember about that video tree. is that they just kept showing footage of like random people yeah. who just happened to be in the park that That's day. That's the thing, is like, yeah. And they, now they are in this video without their consent, as contextualized perverts. as sex perverts. Yeah, yeah, they're just filming people that happened to be there that day. I think the old man was, was from Central Casting as homeless bum. Mm. 
a toothless homeless bum who showed up drunk. I, I mean, hey, said, if we're filming in New York, that guy's probably just for? there. Is this a Home Alone movie? No, 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 no. Just push the kid on the swing. Oh, really what am I playing? Know. You're playing the lovable homeless They man. showed like a dozen different people. I know. All wearing sunglasses. Yeah. None of whom, none of whom signed up to be in this. Fortunately, they all happen to be sex predators. <laughs> Ah! Don't push Jesus that. Christ! This, this looks like a Tim and Eric skit, doesn't it? <laughs> Get away from that grandpa. <laughs> Where did he touch you? Now this is uh, ABC of Safety part one, which means we got to learn, oh, unbeknownst to us until it was 30 minutes deep, into the origin story of Seymour Seal. Oh, and yeah, as I was yeah. setting up, uh, uh, you have <gasps> ABC of uh, Volume Two. What? what? Right ABC over there. ABC of Safety Volume Two. Yeah. Unfortunately, With Seymour it's, it's, is right on yeah. there. It's glued into our it's, set. It's, it might it's hot be glued, glued into, into our set. Holy shit. So we can never watch yeah, it, which is unfortunate because I would really like to continue the adventures of Seymour Seal. Because when you have, I want to hear more of his puns. <laughs> <laughs> is one pun. Hi, Seymour. That's a really great hello. It certainly gets my seal of approval. <laughs> Presidential seal. He used that one like twice in a row. Yeah. Yeah, less than a minute apart. Well, haven't you ever heard of the presidential seal? Hmm? <laughs> oh, Seymour, what are we going to do with you? Consider this sealed. Signs. Sealed, delivered. His, his jokes were hackier than Milton Berle's. He was Milton Berle's joke writer. Until mm -hmm. Milton, Milton Berle clubbed him to death. <laughs> he got the Milton Berle seal of approval. Until Milton Berle tried to <laughs> him. So he said, come back into the, the, the dressing room. Uh, put your flipper up. <laughs> Tasty, one of my favorites. Milton, no, it's a seal. I'll f anything. <laughs> <laughs> Milton, <laughs> no, it's a seal. It's well, okay, I'll put my yeah. Jane Fonda wig on him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. And then I'll dress up in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I heard seals respond positively to blackface. <laughs> a little known fact. Your Milton Burrell fanfic has gone out of control, Jay. <laughs> All you need to do is to remove the head and tail. Next, we take the meat side, then split it, cut it in half at the back, pressing hard to get it well coated. Now place the fish on a cookie sheet pan, skin down. Oh, oh boy. It's the most delicious thing I ever tasted. But yes, you, you, Tim, you were saying once him and his Family. Yeah, his family were just swimming around and they got their way to Montauk because they love the area so much in the bay. And then they, then little uh, Seymour swam up onto the sea, onto the beach. And then he met a kid and then he's like, holy shit, look at me. I got feet. Got and now hands. I got fingers. Yeah. Holy shit, I'm fucking loving this. I'm a seal. Let's <laughs> talk about safety. Yeah. Hi, Seymour. Hi, Seymour. Oh my god, all these kids are drunk. <laughs> Let's count to see how many times we can throw the ball back and forth without dropping it. The lady reading the book was either really into it or being over sarcastic. I think, I think she was doing her little kid voice. She had them all captivated. <laughs> Fortunately, they, they had to do a hundred takes and all of them had to... <laughs> yeah, Drink this up. gallon of high C and then we're gonna start shooting, okay kids? <laughs> yeah! Take 98. Maybe they thought that's how it would keep their energy up. They probably they probably had like a bunch of like juice boxes off to the side while they're getting like set up with lights and everything. So those kids probably sat around for two hours just like having In cookies and drinking. <laughs> right? Are we gonna do anything else? Well, what would you like to do? We wanna hear a story! Are we done? Hello. Oh, that was such a great show. It certainly gets my seal of approval. <laughs> <sighs> Goodbye. So this is what you meant when you said spin-off. I thought I was getting my own TV show. 
I knew I should have read the fine print. All right, so I, uh, we're still talking about tapes. Yeah, the fourth tape now. We're on the fourth tape, uh, Fourth Rich. tape. Uh, armed robbery, is it worth your life? A and the answer, unsurprisingly, is no. Signs like this should be posted both on the door. Define limited, because I'm a crackhead and it needs 20 bucks. <laughs> Well, that's the weird thing is it's, it's, it's branded. The label is branded with Hollywood video, but it has nothing to do with Hollywood video. Not specifically, but I could still see Hollywood video showing this to employees for what they would do if Hollywood video got robbed. This program was developed by the State of Washington Department of Labor and Industries, Division of Industrial Safety and Health. I think it was made by, because it said uh, Washington, Seattle? Yes. It was Seattle, yeah. Washington, and the... Uh, the I think it was made by a company, general retail establishment anywhere in the U.S., anywhere who that deals with the cash register, customers walking in off the street. Uh, you could, and then Hollywood Video just said, we'll buy this for our training purposes. There's probably the same videos probably shown at other gas station chains, grocery stores, other, other blockbuster videos, other places in New York, Brooklyn. <laughs> Places like Montauk. that. Montauk. 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 <laughs> They're uh, at, at Lobster Shacks in Montauk. Well, the Montauk one is hosted right. by yeah. the Seal, by Seymour yeah, Seal. Yeah, right, right. They, they, yeah, 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 they so. replaced this, the, the geek from this video with Seymour Seal. We're going to learn how to be safe walkers. So it has nothing to do with Hollywood video because it's a fucking convenience store in the film, but yeah. it, the general rules and, and information can be applicable to any retail establishment. True. I gotta get Behringer wine. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Four ninety five. dollars Why the wine though? I like white zin. The distraction? I don't get it. And why isn't the salad bar open? The Hollywood video is safer because they don't sell Behringer wine. That's true. That's really the downfall in this. Yeah. yeah it's like Behringer as long wine. as you don't have Behringer on your shelves, you're probably get, you have 20% safer. Those 4.95 wines. Yeah. Yep. But well, like a training type of video, though, what you're looking for are recreations, and we get that. But they really mm. could. They really could have used some squibs. Yes. Yeah. We needed some gore. If, if this were uh, Paul, Paul Verhoeven's armed robbery, <laughs> is it worth your life? <laughs> this would be amazing. <laughs> it's funny because no. we brought up RoboCop during the... Yeah. Don't argue, don't fight. Offer no resistance whatsoever. And never, ever pull a weapon. Such actions only increase your chances of getting hurt or killed. Move slowly. Explain. What would RoboCop think of this video? Pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Speak in a soothing and cooperative tone. RoboCop has a different perspective because he's an armored tank <laughs> that can take bullets, an unlimited amounts of bullets. So he has a different perspective on things. You know? But I, I, I think he wouldn't approve of these tactics. It would be great if RoboCop showed up to investigate the crime here. <laughs> what him, did he look like? <laughs> wait, you gave him the money? <laughs> Why didn't you shoot him? <laughs> he just goes like this. Are you shaking your head at me, RoboCop? People, am I right? <laughs> the main employee did... All the, all the wrong things. That's the first setup is everything to not do mm -hmm. during a robbery. Cause he's like, he's like, oh, fuck off, man. I'm just trying, I work 20 hours a day. I'm trying to make money. And then he pulls out gonna, a gun. Yeah, and yeah. then well, that will, he pulls out, the, the, the clerk pulls out the gun after the, the robber has shot the other employee. Yeah. Yes. Even after he's getting, he's like in the middle of getting shot and he's like, oh, <laughs> pulling out a gun. Way too late on the gun draw. Way too late. I would have pulled that late. shit out immediately. It's really dangerous to open your video with this because what if somebody watches that and shuts the video off right there and they think, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. I get it. I don't need to watch the rest of yeah, this shit. I get it. Just pull out a gun and shoot him. <laughs> Done. Done. I just argue with shot the Shot get shot. Immediately. Yeah. The, the 
point of the video is if they point a gun at your face, just do whatever the fuck they say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do it slowly. And also, like, crooks don't like fully stocked shelves. <laughs> <laughs> make sure your store is clean. Right? That's the weird propaganda at the beginning of the video where they're yeah. like, yeah, make sure you mop the floors and stock the shelves because something to do with robbers. I don't know. Keep the shelves well stocked and the premises neat and clean with the aisles free of clutter or boxes. I mean, you should do that because it's your job, but I mean... They won't rob you. Maybe this is a sneaky way to actually make them restock the shelves. It's like, you know what? Do it or you're going to get shot. Yeah, you're going to get killed if you don't restock the shelves. Or you have a better chance of being killed. Or stocking shelves. A robbery you, you didn't work hard enough! <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I need to get behind the counter to the cash register. I'll walk very slowly, okay? No funny stuff. Don't try your amateur stand-up routine. It is not a good time. Come on, come on, move! Crack addicts, am I right? <laughs> you no, know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> Robbing the gas station, such a cliché. Move slowly and explain every move you're going to make. The Behringer wine though, that's a nice touch. Bathroom break. <laughs> oh God. What? It's now time to talk about the bonus. Oh yeah. Well, but yeah, these are, we're in bonus territories now. Uh, we wanted to talk about the uh, meditation, the art of ecstasy. It is some kind of video. Whether it's it's a recruitment video or propaganda or to to a PR kind of video. I would assume PR based on what we know. Based on what we know, which we'll get into, uh, a man named help me out. Osha 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 o Osho 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 had to do with the last video. <laughs> Osho has to do with oh, the show. next video. And Osha, no, Osho. 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 Osha? Osho. Uma? Oprah? Oh shit, I'm <laughs> levitating. But Osho is a Indian guru slash meditation expert. So Osho is in India. And he's he's a wise old man uh, who speaks very slowly. Man is born. Hmm. What? Huh? To achieve life. Man is born to achieve life. Yeah, that that makes sense. That tracks. It kind of achieves it, it the second he's born. <laughs> then what? Don't talk over Osho. <laughs> he deserves your respect, Rich. He can go on breathing. So was this shot before he died? He can go on breathing. <laughs> who has amassed a, a following. Uh, and this video is made six years after he has died. And o Osho got into a little trouble in, in, in Washington, Oregon. Oregon. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. This video takes place in India at his, at his compound, mm -hmm. where a whole bunch of naive whites go to, 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 to do oil paintings, watercolor paintings, to meditate in glass cubes. Does nobody fart? <laughs> We're enclosed in glass and to dance. dance and do a bunch of like hippy dippy uh, 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 spiritual bullshit. Speak in a bunch of vagaries about. Uh, and yeah, ramble. LSD stuff. ramble about yeah. some New Age horseshit. It's like what uh, I heard Osho say many, many years ago about uh, the strength of the water and the strength of the rock. That the water looks not strong at all in comparison to the rock. And so you wave your arms around in an auditorium? <laughs> I'm not... And make watercolor paintings on the ground. <laughs> I'm not, not, well, I'm not sure I get the connection. Very, very typical New Age horseshit. You just say things that sound spiritual. Mm -hmm. 
And they just sound spiritual. They don't mean anything. Yeah. And you can just ramble like that without actually departing any useful information to another human being. But it sounds like you're really deep. When you were children, somebody was always saying to you, don't do this, don't do that, don't say this, don't say that, don't do this, don't say it. And every time they told you not to say something, immediately that energy was held in your, in your body. And the energy is still there. And with this meditation, it sort of releases it. So as you do the meditation, you become more free and more easy. Ah, I feel better. You know, it feels really yeah, good, like, though. I Just screaming like, though. fuck! <laughs> That's so much better than what, what he was saying did not sound like bullshit at all. Things that, that would make uh, people like us say, this sounds like a cult recruitment video. But that's the problem because they have footage of people defending it saying it's like, it's not a cult. In my office, the people are very critical and all, all, also my friends are very critical and they said, yes, Osho is a guru and you have, it's dangerous. And, it's, and, uh, uh, it's, it's not... It's, and, and as I said while we were watching that, that if yeah. you have to constantly repeat that what you're doing is not a cult, yeah. then what you're doing is a cult. At the same time, Gandhi is, if I may use the word, constipated with puritanism. You know, don't do this, don't do that. Chastity, celibacy, uh, temperance, which really inhibited people from doing anything. You never saw a Gandhi follower who had uh, any joy on his face. He was just too earnest. But with Osho, we're all just fucking each other <laughs> all the time. Osho's about fucking white women from California. <laughs> Or they think they're achieving some kind of something or other. They give him all their money. <laughs> Osho knows what he knows what's up. <laughs> tell him to do watercolor paintings and then fuck them <laughs> that night and tell him it's meditation or some shit. I don't know. Osho's the best at this. I have a lawyer. I pay him with watercolor paintings. <laughs> We have to deal with the old whites, the old old white men that think they're into something. Just get rid of them at night. <laughs> Tell them to go play the violin. <laughs> Define cult. There's there's nefarious reasoning behind what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He's tricking you into oh we're gonna enlighten you. We're gonna uh, teach you these things. You're gonna you're gonna find yourself, but it's all nefarious. And we know that is the case because there was a Netflix documentary made about o Usha? Osho? Osho. 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 Called Osho. Wild Wild Country, where he took over a small town in Oregon with his cults and uh, clashed with the locals. They, they, well, they were trying to take over, like, they had full control of the city, and then they were also trying to get more control over, like, the entire county. Weren't mm -hmm. they trying to win, like, a, some kind of county election? Something like yeah, that. Maybe yeah, maybe to... And so they had, like, a plot, I think. I think I could be misremembering a lot of this. Mm. They were trying to keep like the uh, attendance to the election down. So they went to like one of the major population centers in the county yeah. and they just deliberately infected like people with uh, salmonella. Yeah. To give them the runs so they didn't go vote? Yeah. That's vicious. So it's interesting to watch this because we started watching it and we we're like, these names sound familiar. Well, it's like this was picked as something we would watch because Rich hates New Age shit. It'll yeah. be funny to make him watch this. But then we turn it on, it's like, oh, wait. Like, wait a minute. I think I know this prick. <laughs> and and the, the events in Oregon took place in, like, the early 80s. 80s, yeah. And this is uh, mid-90s. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I think it could be in India because they probably... It was went, after he was run out of yeah, Oregon. They probably yeah. had to flee. And, yeah. and there's video of him talking very slowly and completely disconnected from all the footage because it's older else. footage yeah it obviously shot yeah. when he was alive and then six years later they're they're kind of the cultists i'm sorry the meditation community is still going and they're kind they, they have this there's this weird library where it's like marble floors and glass yeah. and, and then there's all these people that come every uh season or year or there's foreigners, like people from Germany and uh, Sweden. Sweden. And, yeah. and they're all coming and they're, they're like, well, why do you come here? And, uh, we'll... To feel the same. Uh, they and there's that pathetic th author. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The Miami Vice Rejects. I have never sought out 
Osho. Hey, with those with those slacks, he could do some levitation. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see a couple of SpongeBob tricks too. Slam <laughs> hand. Yeah, right. He, he just got back from his Miami Vice audition. It did, it did not go well. <laughs> They can all feel, you know, every one of them, they can all feel equal when they're cleaning Oshu's toilet together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, oh, the maroon, the maroon robes clean the toilets. <laughs> if you have the black robe with the, with the little stocking cap. Yeah, the, the stunted Dumbledore. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, you, 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 you lead the dance segments uh, that do something. Oh, don't spin too fast, Grandpa. Oh, you're, you're... I don't want to see your shock. You're no Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I don't want to see your shock. <laughs> ah! Ah, we're getting dangerously close. This is not the Balducci technique. <laughs> oh, they're dead. Oh, no. They drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> it's Jonestown. <laughs> the comet was coming. <laughs> It was kind of exciting to come here and to see uh, what this is really like because the uh, image, the way people perceive this place and uh, Osho in Sweden is uh, quite negative. When you arrive, they separate you. White women from California or other. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it is all white women. <laughs> I thought that was weird at first. <laughs> then I understood later what Osho told me. Uh, so. Google, uh, Ra Osho. Osho. AKA Rajneesh. O Rajneesh. AKA, he went by Rajneesh, then he went by Osho. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause it took him two days to say his own name. <laughs> to achieve life. Did Osho participate in anything else other than just trying to get a bunch of locals to not come out to the election by giving them diarrhea. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I, 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 don't I see, haven't seen the documentary since this it came ain't out, so I don't remember. This, this no, ain't nobody died. They tried to assassinate, I think it was a lawyer mm. that was opposing them. Okay. But uh, I'm sure Osho was smart enough to say, oh, I didn't have anything to do with that. Yeah. There was just a couple of wacky members that went a little too far. I believe there was somebody in his inner circle who basically ended up being the fall girl. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, there was like a lady yeah. that was a big part of it, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, st state your name, sir. <laughs> Is there Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can go. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, just like, <laughs> uh, uh, send the lady in. <laughs> Does she talk faster? Good, cool. But this is not life. This is gradual death. Are you, are you doing what I'm doing right now? Just imagining a conversation between Osho and Milton Berle? <laughs> I think that would just be amazing. <laughs> For a second, I thought... <laughs> Milton Berle would die before that conversation ended. <laughs> Osho would say like a sentence and Milton Berle would listen, come back to Osho. Next thing Milton Berle would be like laying down. <laughs> like that. Then there'd be a grave. <laughs> then his penis sticking out of it. <laughs> Milton Berle's big cock uh, sticking out of the grave. So is, there a, is there a Jane Fonda wig on his tombstone? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is any of this? This is gradual death. Bathroom break. <laughs> well, we're on to our last tape, which uh, I forced us to watch two more tapes of Black <laughs> Spine ma Magic. You insisted on this one specifically. Yes. Yeah, you just really This like, was a shot in the dark. It. Based on the title, we know for a fact, as far as elderly workout tapes, we will never achieve the greatness of the osteoporosis dance. It will never happen again. Silver Foxes Silver. is pretty good. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver Foxes is pretty but good. But Silver Foxes 
isn't necessarily funny because they're elderly. No, no, no. No, Silver Foxes has the star power, which I would argue this also has the star power. Similar to Merle. Silver Foxes. Similar to Silver Foxes. Um, it did have some surprises. It had some things we were not expecting. It went places we weren't expecting it to go. Yep, so. yep. This is, uh, what, what is the official title, Richie? Uh, I'll know. grab it for you here. Uh, Milton Burles, low impact slash high comedy workout for seniors. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Yeah, so it's half right. During the the go the golden age of exercise tapes, uh, exercise tapes for seniors were a thing. Hello, seniors. Are you all ready for the workout? Yeah. And they said, "We need some olds to buy this. Who do they love? Bob Hope? Dead? Probably. I don't know." Jack Benny? Is he still around? Dead. Oh, dead. <laughs> Damn it. Who's the oldest comedic celebrity that's George, still alive? You, you can't have George Burns. They Lawrence George... Welk? <laughs> 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 oh, they're all dead. They had to rule George Burns Care out both. because of the cigars. Oh. And that's not healthy. They want someone who's... Even though he lived to be 100. I know, that's irony. But the, 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 they wanted an old who was funny, but maybe relatively healthy and fit. You know, you're not gonna get Orson Welles. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see an Orson Welles workout video. Workout tape, yeah. The Orson Welles hypocritical workout. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting in a chair. Move your feet. Just I'm not going to bottles do it. of wine. Now move your legs to the left. He, he sits there directing everybody. Right. Yeah. yeah. Do you call that moving? <laughs> <laughs> you call that moving. Uh, but we're talking about comedians. We want funny. Yes. We want funny. We, we, we got Milton Burl. Everyone loves Milton Burl. Good old Uncle Milty. And he shows up in a tracksuit. He won't exercise. <laughs> he refuses. He'll do a couple of comedy bits. bits. He, uh, he turns the exercise over to Reba McIntyre. Reba McIntyre. Yeah. They get a lady who's old, but not too old. Yeah. It's got to be 58. 54, 56, 58. And at the end, remember, he's like, he's like, you make getting really old look good. Yeah. And then there's like a really long, awkward silence. And he's like, why don't you go back in my dressing room and lay on your back? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You all did a sensational job. Especially you, Marilee. You worked hard. You must be awfully tired. Yeah. Go, go to my dressing room and lie down. <laughs> oh. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm oh. kidding. Where was I? Oh, yes, yeah. Um. And then awkward silence, and then he's like, I'm just kidding, honey. When he was in the tracksuit, he seemed like um, just trying to tell jokes. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> Remember when those words had a whole different meaning? <laughs> That's the last Ooh. one. He made a sex trip. I'm shocked. Yeah. But then he would get into costume, well, and he seemed a lot more lively. Yeah. Like years were peeled off of him. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. <laughs> I, I know just what you're all thinking. She looks much better in person than she does on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I want you to know that I run a very strict workout class. I do not allow my pupils to drink, smoke, or have sex <laughs> until the class is over. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they, I mean, they were in, 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 uh, in terms of the, the characters that he was embodying. Yeah. He becomes Richard Simmons. I mean, Richard Simmons Bang is on, probably Bang on, Richard Simmons like, impression. Yeah. Bang on. Uh, he wanted to take an elderly man back to his dressing room. You remember, Tim? You called the exact line. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. It's very dangerous for me to stand in front of a mirror in this outfit. <laughs> I keep trying to jump on myself. <laughs> Don't stop laughing. I'll make you all stay after class. All of you. It's 
Especially you. Especially you. There it goes. <laughs> Where's the, uh, the instructor? Oh, here, come over here. You are the instructors. I've been, <laughs> I've been watching you. I've been watching you, and I must say that I'm very, very glad that you're teaching my class. Richard, this is the Milton Burrow workout. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm in the wrong studio. <laughs> Speaking of lame, how about all those old sitting down? <laughs> well, there's more of them as the video goes along. The, the whole point, though, for this video is you just when you're old, you just need to keep moving. Yeah. And they have the people sitting in the chair specifically just so that the people at home, the old people watching this tape, know that they can sit down too and just, just move your leg a little bit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even really matter how you move your legs. Yeah. Just move your legs and arms, maybe, man. Maybe lift up a water bottle once in a while. It's fine. But you don't need the water bottle so they have some of the people in the crowd not with water right, bottle. Right, in case just you can't Just keep lift. moving. It's yeah. very encompassing. It's all encompassing. In case you can't physically lift up a water bottle, they had one lady who was just like... <laughs> she was just yeah. bones. And then... And then <laughs> They're all laying on the on the like the yoga mats or pads or whatever they they are, and one old lady specifically had a pillow. Mm -hmm. Maybe she yeah. had a some kind of fucking neck problem. Sure. So so yeah, very subtle little touches. Like yeah, yeah, you can use a pillow behind your head. You don't have to lay flat on the ground if you have if spina bifida. And some of you are never getting back up, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just get right in your grave. Yeah. What was that? Right it's like, <laughs> what was the first joke? He's like, oh, you were the lifeguard at a waterbed motel. Yes. Oh, yeah. Which basically is like, uh, you jokes. are a peeping Tom, and you are at a motel of, full of waterbeds. I'm very glad to see you. You know, I was watching you, George. I, I had an idea that you and I met someplace before. Did we? Uh, at the, weren't you a lifeguard at a waterbed motel? <laughs> What are they laughing at? You yeah, should, I fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I go to motels. Are you, are you feel tired? You can go back now. Who is that? <laughs> Weren't you a lifeguard at a waterbed motel? <laughs> Didn't you used to be a comedian? <laughs> <laughs> Did you be used to be funny, Mr. Burl? Good job. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> That's, that would have been a great name for this tape. You know a few awkward moments. A few awkward, awkward moments with Milty. Yeah. And I want to say this, honey. You can cook for me anytime. <sighs> it's like it's like you want good cardiac, and it's just like it's like you gotta get a dick like this up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can we can we stop the press here? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's, it's Tim, you seem to have inside knowledge yeah. about yeah. Milton Burrell's penis size. Is this is this a known fact? You can look it up. I don't want to. But it is. It M is. Milton Burrell had a giant yeah. cock. Yeah. Yeah. Legendary. Really? Uh, like giant is so like 80s, yeah. but he's from like the 50s and the 40s. So it's legendary. Like comparatively, like all, all other men in the 50s and 40s supposedly, had Supposedly, a friend of mine told the story when he got to meet Milton Burrell, supposedly, um, a friend oh, of yours? Shit. Are you yeah. friends with exclusively 80 year olds? No, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a Benjamin Button baby. <laughs> what, 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 was your friend Betty White? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Do you think Betty White fucked Milton Burrell? Yes. A friend of mine got to meet uh, Milton Burrell and he has a oh. picture with him and he has his hand on his face and shit. And he's like, so I heard he had a big dick. And he's like, well, I met Bruce Willis once and supposedly Bruce Willis has whatever. And he's like, yeah, and he's like, so we went to the bathroom to exchange lengths and I pulled enough out just to win. Wait, 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 wait. Milton Burrell and Bruce Willis were yeah. comparing their penises? Supposedly, yeah. <laughs> so your friend learned this from Milton from Burrell? From Milton Burrell, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. This doesn't sound very and reliable to me. If the, my friend is not a, he don't fuck around. And he has the picture. Okay. I'm not saying your of friend Milton is wrong. Pearl's no. penis? <laughs> <laughs> he, he has a picture of his penis. The tiny and it was like, Burrell. Yeah, 
It's a picture of uh, Bruce Willis and Milton Berle <laughs> yeah, just standing their dicks next to each, next each, other, to each yeah. other. Bruce yeah. Willis looks very upset. The photo. Yeah. Yeah. This would explain a lot about Bruce Willis. Like, he doesn't give a shit anymore. Do you think that maybe started when he saw Milton Berle's dick? Little did I know that this show would get me to talk about big dicks so much. <laughs> There was that one old man who had like the, the skin tight like leotard pants on, mm -hmm. and, and you saw his. I thought that was like leotard area. Milton Berle. Right, if Milton Berle put a leotard on. Oh my God, it looked like he's hiding the Liberty Bell under there. <laughs> <laughs> that Milton never wore sweats. He never wore sweats or or, or basketball shorts or gym shorts or. Tights Unless he's or... imitating. Uh... Richard like that? Simmons, that's the name. Oh, I couldn't Richard, think of it. Well, Richard Simmons. Unless he's imitating Richard Simmons, and then Richard he wears Simmons big basketball is a, shorts. Richard Simmons is gay, so he has a vagina, according to Milton Berle. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't understand how <laughs> gay works. <laughs> what he's got, he doesn't have a penis. He's got It is weird to see Milton Berle doing the Richard Simmons impression, and he's doing like this. And it's just like rows of elderly people on each side of him, just like, eh. It's sort Get of creepy. Because <laughs> they don't know what's happening. They really, they, no, they know what's happening. It's just their generation. <laughs> I think, yeah, they're just, it's, it's a little mixture of uncomfortable laughter. There's a couple. There's of, some of that, yeah, there's the There's the black guy in the back who looks, he looks a little younger than everybody. Yeah. Uh, everyone, look, all the whites look like they're 97 years old, and he looks like he's 50. And then when Milton comes out and he's like, ooh, you know, and then the <laughs> black the guy's like, this is like, this? fuck this. He's like, who is this? And why am I here? And that's why they had he to looks cut. Like, he's like a retired football linebacker or something. <laughs> There's a part in the video when he had, he, well, he's a big guy. Yeah. He's, yeah. Tall, oh, yeah. he's like seven feet tall. So he's probably a little older, 50. 50, mid 50s and maybe he played professional sports because the ladies like everyone get down on your fucking hands and knees and do this like leg lift thing right yeah. and she's like I don't know you guys probably might not have even picked up on this but she's like if you'll notice notice that one of our students has used a chair for support for his back as he lowers to the mat so so it's a workout for not just the old but maybe people who have uh, physical challenges sure. like the bald black guy maybe he you know, had some bodily injuries over his, his life. And so it includes him too. And what I'm saying is he wasn't as old enough to laugh at the Richard Simmons drag impression. I guess it's not a drag impression of Richard Simmons as a man. <laughs> that's he that's the Jane Fonda impression. He wasn't the old flaming enough impression. The, to laugh at the Richard Simmons gay mockery yeah. as the other older whites. He's also the one responsible for vetoing the blackface. Right. Milton Berle was going to come out as Billy Blanks, and that guy said, fuck this. It may take me 15 minutes to lean down and get on my knees, but it'll take me two seconds to murder Milton Berle. Right, to punch his dentures right out of his head. <laughs> now, yeah. you talked about right. the dude who was sitting in the chair. Like, yeah. uh, like that guy actually, I think he, he had, the whole time, yeah. he got sat in the chair because he was like, I can't stand anymore. <laughs> because he's <laughs> like, the, this woman can't say the right thing. You say, I can't stand Stand this anymore? Stand, or I can't stand period. anymore. I can't okay. stand anymore. Oh, yeah, I thought you were th saying I can't stand this, as in the whole situation. I'm in a studio, fucking Milton Burles here, Reba McIntyre's trying to make me lift my arms. I can't stand it. Yeah, the sound editing of this is great, though. I don't hear any of the cracking and popping noises <laughs> and farts. You know, there's a ton of farts. Elderly farts, though, don't make a sound. That's true. They just go. <laughs> little puff of dust. The real. <laughs> little puff of dust. <laughs> Grandpa, you puff of dust. The sphincter has lost all tightness. It just. <laughs> And it's mostly con the sound is mostly contained inside the diaper. <laughs> so it sounds like <laughs> it's virtually unknown, undetectable. The only thing you get is the smell. Lower down. But it mixes in with the old person smell. Yeah. So you never really yeah. notice. Bridge. 
Therapy, therapy plus. plus. Therapy plus. <laughs> therapy plus. All these videos could probably work together as some sort of fucked up Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like the seal can help roll the Therapy Plus on the elderly, and then the kids can be like, we know where to sit on the bus. I don't know. As they levitate? Yeah, as they levitate yeah, sure. effortlessly. And someone comes uh, onto the bus to try and rob them. And they'll be like, here's our money. No need to kill. Yeah. <laughs> I think Tim just actually died. I think so. Oh, that's unusual. Because it was bound to happen sooner or later. And that's true. Yeah, the best of the worst table. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding, you guys. Oh Give. my god. The guy, I just thought about it, the guy who had to struggle to, to hold onto the chair to get down on mm -hmm. the ground, he had a problem with his black spine. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It's funny. No. It's a little funny. <laughs> yeah, anyway. To just Rich, Rich has like, got that skeptical look. On his <laughs> this is the worst episode we've yeah, ever, we've ever is. filmed. I gotta cut so much out of this. <sighs> But there's no reaction at all. They're just like, I'm, I'm done. This is just me now. <laughs> Some of them have brown stains. <laughs> is everybody else uncomfortable? Nope. No. <laughs> Right, we have to pick a winner. Oh god, uh, winner. it's that time of the night. We watched six black spine tapes, a la balls, a la the ball well, choice. Four of them were four of them were oh. ball choice, and then we just watched more we watched a couple for more. some reason. <laughs> Why not? We didn't have enough balls. If we would have watched one tape more, that would have been awkward, so we had to make it a pair. I guess. It's got to be yeah. even. Yeah. So, so six we, balls. Six tapes, nice even number. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have to pick a best of the worst of these random ass VHS tapes. Unlabeled spine, black spine tapes yes. that should be in a dumpster, forgotten. Well, for they time. will be after this. Yeah. Uh, Tim. I'm just trying to remember. So it's 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 levitation, levitation, uh, therapy, therapy fraud, therapy plus, therapy therapy fraud, safety, safety, the the oh, the, the Jesus, the say, huh? yeah. the robbery, robbery, and cult, cult, burl. burl, yeah. Um, I would have to say levitation, because oh. they made one. One little thing, and it just, it, I found it hilarious that it's the same fucking thing. And it's dumb, and like. These aren't good reasons. No, <laughs> it's. What's the most memorable that you, that when you, when you. I know what you're getting at, Mike, and it's awful. The, well, shit, man. The. You don't have to pick anything. That's true. Really? Yeah. You can say none. If you want, you could say pass. <laughs> I don't care which one you pick. Okay, cool. If you want to pick A, B, C of safety with the talking seal. Yeah, yeah. And the Seymour, Muppets. Seymour seal and the safety. Seymour safety. Playground full of child predators. Yep, and the, and the, the random puppet that just popped yeah, in. That, like that, that by big showdown at the end. Uh, sunburn chef oh, or sunburn oh, surgeon. Sunburn surgeon. Yeah, God yeah. damn it. Yeah. Why, Our favorite you know character. What? It sounds like you're no, leaning towards ABC. No, it is ABCs. Okay. Definitely. All right. Definitely. I'm sorry. That's all right. I am sorry. Fuck this shit. It's a hard choice. It's a ABCs. hard choice. ABCs. Okay. ABC is safety. J. I got to go with the Milton Berle tape. Uh, just him in drag is so embarrassing. I know he's been dead for 30 years, but it's still like that. And the Richard Simmons impression is just just so embarrassing and awkward that it's the most entertaining. Most of these other tapes fucking sucked. 
I, I think you're right. I, I, it's Milton Berle. <laughs> <laughs> like, plus there's also like a cooking section at the end. Oh, that's true. We didn't even talk about no. that. No. After, when you watch an exercise video, you don't want to watch 20 minutes of somebody chopping carrots, but that's what Julianne, we get. Julianne, Julianne, yeah, carrots, yeah. and... You know, when you're that age, you can't be eating before you exercise. That's true. And then, even at the very end, he finds a way to be creepy. He's, like, touching her. <laughs> oh, oh, my yeah. God! Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. fucking... You want to change your answer? Remember when Milton Berle sang? I know. Lady? And she did not fucking care about it from the, in the shake of the hand, and you yeah. could see her. She did not want anything fucking, to do with Milton Berle. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be, but yeah. Milton Berle. You're switching Berle, to Milton but, Berle? But the, oh my God. the ABCs, the ABCs a fucking close second. Okay. Okay. Well, I, 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 I got to pick Milton Berle. <laughs> I brought us lots of joy and borderline uh, uh, perverted mm -hmm. uh, and then insulting uh, Richard Simmons doing a, a, an uh, awkward gay impression and then coming out in drag as Jane, Jane Fonda. Uh, it's, it was sad, <laughs> it was sickening, it was depressing and, and it embarrassing was great. And, and ultimately great. <laughs> Um, because that's the kind of stuff we look for in Best Forced. Yeah. It's how you want to go out. You have a long, memorable career. This is how you want to go out. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. A long, memorable career. You want to go out. You want to go out in a, an embarrassing elderly exercise tape. That's how you want to end your career. Absolutely. And then die. It's like cringe was the only way to extend his life. <laughs> <laughs> The end. <laughs> That's intense. The Holy end. shit. This is how you do it, period. <laughs>